everybody again here I have a new review for you this is the wide margin reference Bible in a true tone uh, uh, material brown walnut color and uh, this is a ESV uh, done by Crossway it comes in this uh, uh, little uh, box and uh, here is the Bible uh, which uh, I am very impressed uh, with uh, this is a true tone uh, cover in a brown walnut color it has this kind of portfolio uh, design it's all stitched around the perimeter the spine is dry stamped as you can see here and uh, it comes with the uh, Holy Bible uh, the ESV uh, uh, logo and then you have here in letters lettering I don't know you can see it well uh, it's a bit dark English standard version and the logo from Crossway is right here you can see it there you go and uh, this is a very affordable Bible for those who want a wide margin but can't afford to buy a premium Bible in, in good leather let's say calfskin or goatskin and uh, this one uh, retails around 30 euro or something like this I will uh, post a link on the commentary section uh, on the description section sorry uh, for you guys if you want to uh, have a look at this and uh, let's open this up it is a paste down but here's a very nice vinyl paste down it's not cardstock it's not paper and it feels really good it doesn't feel uh, cheap at all and uh, I think you would uh, be very uh, happy uh, to find this in a Bible of this price so it comes with just one plain ribbon thing that you can easily fix just gain a couple of ribbons uh, uh, added to it uh, if that's what you want and uh, let's take a look at the interior it comes with one thick page it's a kind of a glossy cardstock page to and then we got the presentation page, Holy Bible, uh, presented to, sorry, by and on the date that's typical for, for Bibles to have there, marriages, births and adoptions. Uh, what else do we have here? That's um, the beginning of the Holy Bible in the ESV version. And uh, you have another uh, presentation page of the Holy Bible by Crossway this case and uh, this is the text edition of the year 2011 it's not the 2016 so it's a previous edition if that is what you prefer this one is the one to go for and here we have the wide margin reference edition of the ESV done by Crossway uh, it's, a, it's printed in China but I have to say I am very happy with this printing the the text block is nice the paper is very good quality and uh, this is a red edition red letter edition and uh, you will be surprised that the red is a very very good uh, let's take a look at this Bible uh, let's see what else do we have here this is the beginning this is Genesis and as you can see here, I'm going to show you, we have a very nice wide margin in the interior. And it's uh, one inch and a quarter. Okay. And uh, on the outside, is a bit less. It's, it's, uh, it's a bit less than an inch and a quarter. It's not as wide. But and in Cambridge, you, you normally you have this the other way around doesn't make much sense to me because this this is the margin who goes into the gutter which is harder to write therefore you have a little bit more space here to work on to write your notes it, it is it is a whole world of a difference that's what in my opinion uh, uh, is great now this margin could be as big as this one but it's not in this case because they move this a little bit to the right so that you have that extra space to work with um, this is actually yeah it's a, a bit more than than a than an inch and here you have an inch and a quarter 
Uh, on the bottom we have uh, three quarters of an inch and on the top in this case one inch as well but that doesn't happen in every single page because in this case for example you only have uh, half an inch and and so on but it is very neat uh, I see this this uh, font is is lovely in size very crisp very readable and this is a nine point font uh, done by Crossway and I'm uh, gonna get this closer to the camera so you can see how readable that is and for a wide margin to have a font of this size it's it's a, a dream come true uh, some of the uh, Cambridge's uh, wide margins like for example the NASB N, sorry NASB uh, that that font over there I think it's nearly like 7 or 6.5 sometimes looks like but it's it's like a 7 or, or even if it says it's an 8 but it doesn't read as big this is a 9 and uh, you still have these wide margins again the interior here is, is it's uh, one and a quarter uh, not really sure if uh, the starter would be throughout the Bible it looks like it but yeah it is a bit more than a inch on this on the outer margin okay um, although the description it will say that this is actually one inch each it's giving you a little bit more than that in reality it comes with it's a double column as you can see here and it comes with all the reference uh, relegated to this part on the corner bottom corner to the right hand side where you can actually go and, and, and check if you ever wanted to do that uh, so it's not uh, culture in the in the middle of the page so it's easier to read through uh, which I think is a great uh, design by Crossway uh, for the ESV now the paper the paper is is uh, it's pretty good it's not as good as uh, Cambridge's or for example the white margin that Alan does like uh, uh, the um, KJV a wide margin the brevier uh, wide margin that they produce but we have to talk about price and for this price this paper is excellent uh, it has a little bit of ghosting but it's not too bad this uh, this Bible is line matched which is also another thumbs up and uh, let's have a look I want to go to the New Testament and I'm going to show you the red color is very very nice check that out it's a very dark I love the color the red color that they produce in, in crossways very nice very nice red And uh, let's, ha let's have a look at the back of this Bible. It does come with uh, concordance. Right after Revelation. We just have a little page here with weights and measures. Concordance, which is pretty thick. Okay. That's how thick the concordance is. And it comes in a three column presentation. Pretty readable. It's small, but definitely readable. And I like the way that uh, they make this in bold, the titles for each uh, subject. Uh, and then you have uh, in a very th um, modern uh, uh, typeset, but thinner every single reference um, for each subject and uh, let's see we have some maps in a very uh, thick but still flexible and uh, glossy paper in a thicker paper 
uh, glossy and, and full colored uh, maps uh, here we have uh, one of my favorite maps uh, of Jerusalem and the temple uh, it comes uh, also with the map of Palestine in the times of Jesus and uh, that's it it doesn't come with paper at the end that's one of the things that uh, I regret about this Bible it doesn't have uh, paper for extra notes and, and, and probably uh, if you want to have a code of, of notes an index uh, it would be nice and neat to have that there but it's not it's not a, a great great uh, problem in my view so this is the review of this Bible I recommend it for people that like uh, taking notes uh, it's, it's very affordable the paper is is great it's not excellent but it's great for the price and uh, I think you can't go wrong for this one now in my case I probably gonna end up uh, doing a rebind for this Bible uh, probably gonna use a goat skin and uh, with a calf skin uh, liner and uh, I start. I will probably start using this Bible more often. Uh, I was uh, debating whether to use this Bible or the New King James because I have all my notes in uh, my Cambridge KJV, but I wanted to have the same notes in a more uh, up-to-date uh, version of the Bible, just for reading purposes and for sharing with others that are not so used to the King James. So to make it easier for for them to to understand when I'm reading, but uh, once I have this done, I'm going to show you uh, the result. Uh, so I want to take this one as uh, this video as uh, an example of what this Bible looked like before uh, I rebound it. So there you go. That's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Like us and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so. And uh, until next time, Shalom.